name of Jesus we pray. Listen, when Jacob met the angel of the Lord, he told the angel, if you don't bless me, I will not let you go. Let me tell you something. When it is hard time that you have to get to this level, you are telling God, until you bless me, I will not stop praying. Yes. Jacob told the angel, unless you bless me, I will not let you go. Yes. And he had his blessing. Today we call upon the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Unless you bless me, I will not let you go. Yes. Unless you bless me, I'm not going to stop fasting. Unless I receive what I'm looking for, I'm not going to stop praying. Oh, yes. Unless I get that thing I'm looking for, I am not going to stop. Jesus. You see, the man with the, the man at the pool of Bethesda, I like one thing about him. He didn't get his healing. Yes, still, for 38 good years, he never stopped sitting at the pool. He didn't say, I am going home, my document. I, he stayed there. Unless you bless me, I will not let you go. Oh, yes. What is he? That you are calling upon the name of the Lord. It is time for us to tell God, unless you give let you go. Unless you give it to me, I am not going to stop. Anyone who received their testimonies from Jesus, there were people who never gave up. Blind Bartholomew, he was calling on Jesus. And that is another form of prayer. Blind Bartholomew was calling on Jesus. Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. But this time, some people will tell him, Blind Bartholomew, you know something? Jesus has already gone. Stop making the noise. But he kept praying. Some of you people will discourage you that the prayer you are praying, ah, if Jesus would have answered, you have already answered. Don't stop. Some of you people will discourage you and tell you that don't stop because your testimony is just near you. I will not let you go unless you do what? You bless me. Yes. Right now, we are going to pray. We are telling God, release it for me. That thing I've been desiring for, give it to me. You see, I like one thing about the prodigal son. The prodigal son went to the father. He said, give me the portion of goods that belongs to me. If he was immature to handle the goods, yes, we know that. He was immature. We know that he needed the part, a father had to die or we didn't share his inheritance. But one thing about the prodigal son, he had that spirit to demand for. Let me tell you, until you demand for what belongs to you, you will never get it. You are telling God, give me the portion that belongs to me. The portion in my life, in my society. The portion 